Hi, I'm Luca, and welcome to this episode of Do It Right, Dynamic Hydronic Balancing. When buildings are designed to deliver heating and cooling energy in order to provide comfort during winter and summertime, different solutions are possible. And today, we would like to focus on the most used applications and see how the technology has evolved over the years. It is my pleasure being here together with Alejandro. Alejandro is a global product manager at Siemens for valves and actuators. And in this and in the next episodes, he will guide us through the different options and explain how an almost perfect control and dynamic balancing efficiency can be achieved with six-way valves and what are the latest evolutions of the Siemens six-way valve portfolio. Thank you, Luca. We have a really exciting episode coming up. So welcome to Do It Right, Dynamic Hydronic Balancing. Now, this is part of a series that will focus on six-port application and its evolution from past to present. In today's episode, we are going to learn about two main topics. First, I'll provide you with an overview of common HVAC systems that enable both heating and cooling operational mode. Second, I show you how the six-port valve have helped improve efficiency in those systems. Let's start with our first point by tackling the most common HVAC system in the market today. As you know, this is the four-pipe systems. A four-pipe system uses separate and independent hydronic piping lines for both hot and chill water. This creates the option to supply heat to one room while cooling another. This system does not require a centralized changeover sequence because both heating and cooling are independent from each other. The main downside of the four-pipe system, however, is that it uses a configuration which requires twice as much piping as other system configuration. As a result, it's more expensive and it takes more time for you to install. In order to cost optimize across the whole system, you can combine four-pipe systems with two pipe terminal units, allowing your hydronic system to cut down on the piping use. This setup contains a single coil that alternates between heating and cooling, leading to a more compact terminal unit configuration. This reduces your installation time, the space, and your client's maintenance requirements. This combination I'm talking about here uses up to four valves and four actuators. However, the more devices you use, the higher the probability of having a device that is wrongly configured or that will simply stop working. These errors can cause the heating and cooling flows to mix up, which is something you certainly won't avoid. Therefore, there is a high risk for setup errors when it comes to isolating between heating and cooling in the four-pipe HVAC system. Also, the high number of data points that need to be supported by the controller and the complexity of the switching and control process results in a very demanding control system overall. And here is where the six-port valve puts a new twist on an existing application. The six-port valve is a solution specifically developed for use along with terminal units such as chill beams and fan coils. It combines four pipe system capabilities with two pipe terminal units. It also simplifies the installation, it reduces commissioning efforts, and it lowers operational cost. It's a true close-off four pipe system where heating and cooling circuits are isolated. You don't need an extra changeover valve. This eliminates the possibility of cross flows that may occur in complex systems, for instance, due to miswiring, imperfect software setup in the BMS, or actuator or valve failure. The control system is also simplified because only one actuator is needed to regulate and switch between heating and cooling. The six-port valve represents an easier and optimized solution for you compared to the traditional setup, as it minimizes the number of valve and actuators in an installation. So, by introducing a single six-port valve, you are effectively replacing up to four valve and four actuators. Also, you are able to reduce commissioning efforts and operating costs, including the power consumption, now that there are fewer valve and actuators to maintain. With the introduction of the six-port valve, you open up a new world of possibilities for four-pipe HVAC systems. And it all starts with one small piece of technology. Now, that's exciting. In the next episode, we will continue to focus on the hydronic balancing process across different systems. And together, we take a specific look at the commissioning process by harnessing dynamic balancing technology. 
Thank you for watching this episode of Do It Right, Dynamic Hydronic Balancing. I'm Alejandro Gonzalez Pozo, and I'm excited to see you in the next episode.